Take a deep breath. It's time to go racing. I grew up at the racetrack. It's all I've ever known. Oh my God, would you look at that? Here comes number 15, pulling in the lead. I race in NASCAR's National Arc Menard Series. It is a driver development series created by NASCAR for drivers like me who don't have a ton of racing experience, but want to experience getting to race on these big tracks like Daytona, Talladega. Just really get our feet wet so that we can develop the skills needed to move up to the next NASCAR series. Hey guys, just at the race shop making some last minute adjustments for Talladega. There's the car there. Switched out some radios, make sure I was fitted all nicely, belts are good. Yeah, it's gonna be a good race. My dad raced, my grandpa, my cousins, my uncle, and it's something that I knew was meant for me at a young age. I knew that I wanted to do it. It's been super fun for mom and dad to, uh, to do this, and uh, I, can, I can say for both of us, we're, we can't wait to see what happens next. Racing's really always kept my family together. It's a passion that we all share. It's been really fun to have my parents be on this journey with me. My name is Dave Weiner. I'm the crew chief of the 15 car for Amber Balkan. Amber has a drive. I didn't feel as quick the last couple of laps. She wants this like nobody else I know. A day in the life entails heavy on the mental and physical training. I work out with a trainer for two hours a day with both physical training and cognitive training. Our reaction time and focus needs to be really, really strong in these cars. I am the car chief. My job is to get all the guys in order, get them where they need to be. The thing about Amber, compared to other females in the past, like she's not intimidated at all. She's like really focused, driven. She brings a lot of energy to the racetrack. We don't get to actually practice these cars. The first time we race is like when we get in the car at the racetrack. So in order to kind of fill that void of not getting to practice during the week, I go on my simulator, use iRacing. I watch a lot of footage. I have conversations with my spotter, my crew chief, my mechanics. You have a new engine in yours. That's how it's supposed to be, that's how it was. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, the rocker was still on there, but you see the end of that valve, how yeah. tall it's supposed to be? Yeah. So it's not opening at all. How I can improve from the previous race and apply that to the next race. So it's a lot of research and then physical and mental training. I hit them hard. I hit them. Being an up and coming race car driver is not easy, especially when you don't come from money and don't have that financial backing. Most of my time is spent looking for sponsorship because without sponsorship, I'm not even able to race. I wanted to introduce you to the my main sponsor, primary sponsor, Icon Direct. So a lot of my time is spent looking for sponsors, setting up meetings, putting business deals together, and it's an absolute grind. Besides being the crew chief on the 15 car, my job is, is to get with my car chief, Mike Eminem, lay out what I want, set up wise in the car, how I want things like balances and side skirts and so forth, uh, especially for Daytona and Talladega, really, really important. The support I get from my fans is absolutely amazing. Every time I go to fulfill orders on my website, I just, I can't believe people are spending their hard earned money to buy my t-shirts, get my autograph. Like, it still seems crazy to me that people would want that. You have to work harder, you have to want it more, and you have to be tough. Like, you have to be tough. You cannot be in the sport, be a female, and not be tough number of drivers, let alone female drivers that come in, they want to be a race car driver because they think it's cool. Amber wants to be a race car driver because she wants to win.